All right, it makes me feel good to serve other people, help them out when they need it, and I think it's a really good thing. You know, something that we can all do. Service to me is like a getaway happiness. Whenever I'm feeling down, Service to me has always been something important. Obviously, growing up as a Boy Scout, it was something that taught me how to keep myself invested, how to keep myself involved with the community. A community only comes together through, through acts of service. So as, as far as service, service has really impacted me in my life. I've seen it when I've actually given service, like going over and helping somebody move. Uh, it's been really appreciative. We've had, you know, uh, family members or friends or, or even people we don't know, we stopped one time and helped the lady mow her grass that was almost up to our, our knees and she just had her husband passed away and she was said, said he usually kept it the yard really nice and stuff so we as a family got out and helped her mow the yard and she was grateful for that. I received wonderful service from my sisters when I was having some physical challenge last year and they brought the Spirit of the Lord into the home and brought their smiling faces and their unrelenting joy in their service that they gave to me. And I'm so grateful to my Father in Heaven for the love that they showed. And I'm, and I'm very grateful that we are sisters in sign and that we can share each other's burdens and lift one another up when we need that help. And I'm grateful for the gospel. And I know in my life personally, uh, every time we've moved, we've always had friends and, and neighbors and, and come over and help us unload. Uh, there was one night where uh, we were just exhausted. Kara and I were left and there was still stuff to do. And all of a sudden, uh, a man and his boys showed up at our house and started helping us load the truck. It was awesome. Service really impacts people. And it's a good opportunity to share things with and, and help people grow. So. Something that has impressed me is that Heavenly Father sometimes calls us to do service and we're not always aware of it. And I have um, themes. And it's really funny how I will be prompted to give something to somebody or to write to somebody that I don't even know. And it's exactly what that person needs. It's affected my life because like I said, I want to share with others, but how it's um, others that have kind of listened to that still small voice and be God's hands here on earth at different times when it's needed. And um, we had moved to Minnesota and I remember it had been like a few months and kind of still trying to adjust. And this one day I was really missing my mom because we had lived so close. We were able to um, see her quite often and just kind of missing my mom that day. And um, all of a sudden there was a knock on my door and it was uh, this lady named Tanya Miller and she had a fruit tart in her hands and she said you know I just felt like you know I needed to bring this to you today and just tears started just pouring down my my face because that is what my mom and I used to do we'd go to a little tea shop that had pastries and um, uh, get a fruit tart and share it and that was our thing and um, I have many pictures and they're all you know that of us spending time together and um, and it was that fruit tart and here it was in you know on my porch by a friend who wanted to try to serve me and um, without knowing it she um, that was a pivotal point of me adjusting to Minnesota and knowing that it's all gonna be all right um, there was a woman in the Ensign, she, Marie Oberg, I think is her name, Oberg, maybe. Um, she, and I called her one time, I looked her up, and I wanted a painting of hers. Well, sometime later, I just sent her a note for no reason because I appreciated her. And she wrote me back and said that, that was a, and I was an angel, that she needed that, and I didn't even know her. You know, so we just have to always be ready to hear because it sometimes isn't the actual physical act. I think sometimes it's just somebody knowing that they know you're out there.